I didn't finish it yet on click events function then 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 you can click it one of the one of the one of the geometry uh, and then you can see the detailed informations for for each of the interactions you can see the information like the clicking the each geometry each, each layer and then you can see that it may be here the pop-up or in a sidebar to see the the information what information is containing these, these geometry features that's that's i mean it doesn't finish it yet but i'm continuing for the for the for the further the, the next development so yeah i have a pointer moves so when you move in, in the into the pointer then you can get the idea of what i mean this is depending on the your requirements what you want like to so single click double click or only click and then this is a pointer move on movement you can build a pop-up or even can build a sidebar that there's a sidebar example i already explained in my previous game case just just look for that once so this is the geo application calls this is the for the for the integration of the geo uh, geo server services call into the web pages this is the one one of the example this is like standard and professional way to do i did it like last 10 years like this way so it, it has i didn't have any alternative finding the best solution and best idea how can you integrate the services and very efficient way and very quickly uh, i found it this way is a really really efficient way to do this as a professional levels not the beginning level beginner for the beginner case it's hard to understand but when you get it really the really idea yeah. uh, what i mean then you can do it very quickly and professional way that's i mean here so that means you can foxy set up you can build it here the hard coded and you can independently define your your necessary information for the layers and even though all the all the maps and then you uh, add it uh, one by one your your layers and then you can can build it like the layer switcher i just indicate here the layer, layer switcher the control but i didn't finish it yet but in the in the future screencast i will try to give it to you idea how can you make a layer switcher i'm layer switcher means in this stage maybe here some some selector bar you can click one of them buttons and then you can you can get it like which which layer you'd like to visualize it for at the moment is coming everything together that's why it takes time to render the informations that's uh, that's i mean so here i will put it like here some some drop down list or to select one of the render and then get the the efficient way one of the layers not the all layers to render one times but i will try to put it like independent render render cases <clears throat> so control here so you get the idea here the overview pointer the event is, is works and then this is css and then how can you integrate the the services to the other layer so what we did here also some part of the example for this case the the geomap portal case because you see the our all the all the that's thing i also also discussed the last thing just about so it's i just additional like all the geo services url and everything is same and then here is like i am building the different style for the for the for the maps if you go to this style if you go to this style that's a different style of the maps you can see the different colors and the buildings and then these things is here so even though we can go there i think so so you can go there so this is the the address register simulated register address and uh, and then and then you can go to the and the simulated uh, register plots uh, and then and then even though you can go on flow no this it is floors register address and this is the floor register address and and unit register address it is it is not still not implemented and this is our our geo server services call and this is the a register plots that's how we have it into the into the into the, our our database the other service did the, this this plot registration uh, data set into the into the somewhere somewhere so so that means here so call it here then the same maps same approach and different styles of the maps and then the plot styling and then building styling with the different colors and then floor styles 
and you need style for the colors and then then here the the simulated uh, simulated plots that we created already there and then add this plot into the into the address information that you already get it here the address information oops address information here the simulated address so this is the program code in the builder simulator so it's 10 address created and then add to the address into the into the into the your 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 maps maybe you can try it here one example maybe we try to make it uh, 100 uh, sorry 100 save it and compiling successfully <coughs> <clears throat> so we saw the effect of the uh, still not it doesn't compile expectedly let me see we need to refresh the refresh the test oh it doesn't change yet okay let's let's continue so let's tens at uh, simulated plots and then we have some simulated uh, simulated uh, uh, plots information that's why we already talk about that and we had just build a simulated coordinates points random coordinates points and put it the objects information plot information and add to the resource and then back, make a vector layers and add to the layer uh, add, the, add to the layers into the maps and so the same buildings information same thing but in future we'll change this code because this is the data reading from the database and then build the necessary object into the database because i'm trying i do, i am not allowed to give it to you really proper shape of the information this one because the legal issues for 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 these informations but in, in the future when i have the really proper client data information so coordinates points and registration building registration address and building flow registration then i can do you for for you but you can get the idea of what i mean the simulated data so here the same thing is everything data is there then then end call that's the two calls for the services here is our con uh, the our the third party external uh, um, geo service call and build the geo service the necessary road networks and primary road networks and the, and here the you add the the road information into the maps and here the 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 detail road detail information about the primary road and secondary road so if i go to the if i minimize the uh, the the this one to commit out so that means it should <clears throat> so that means here i can commit out the main roads maybe uh, we can commit out uh, the detailed roads and you can see the effect of the of the applications compiled successfully and if i go there So it's rendering, still rendering. That's why I said that I need something to, to control here at this level to, to look for the look for the how how the how the selection works. So geo server still waiting, still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. <clears throat> 